Today we are gonna cook okra. Now I harvested this okra maybe a day or two late. They're fairly big, uh, but they're still definitely in a good eating range. Uh, but I did decide that I wanted to stew them. Uh, so cooking them in some juices and helping them soften up a good bit. The other thing that's great about this recipe is that it uses a lot of garden grown veggies. So I have a lot of the ingredients that I grew in my garden. Uh, and I like that a lot for this recipe. And um, it's super tasty. In addition to the okra, I will use onion, garlic, a lemon, and tomatoes. For spices, you want spices that are nice and earthy, um, and you can maybe use some heat if you'd like. My recipe calls for mustard powder, paprika, black pepper, cayenne pepper, bay and bay leaf. Um, I adapt that as I see fit. The lemon is used as a bit of marinade on the okra initially, and then again as a finish at the end. The recipe also calls for a quarter cup of water. Um, you can use stock or whatever you'd like. I often change that out. The entire recipe takes about 30 minutes to cook uh, with some prep time in advance. This is one of my heads of garlic. This is a northern white, I think. Uh, it had a split in it, uh, uh, so it won't last, so it's gonna be, it was in my used first pile. And these are um, yellow of karma onions, and again, this had some damage, so it was in my used first pile. So we're gonna chop those up, stick them in here. Not too bad. Take care of that first. Here's my garlic. Gonna open this one up and see how it is. too bad. Okay, 
So I'm gonna clean these up and uh, then chop them up. All right, so this is a Cherokee purple. Uh, I've already used part of it and I, uh, de I cored it already. And then these are Moon Glow. I think I, if I remember what these are. Uh, so I'm gonna use these three tomatoes for this recipe. Uh, and basically just, just chunking them roughly. I am cutting them up roughly. Knife's getting dull. Ugh. We're going to do a teaspoon of mustard powder. and a tablespoon of paprika. Okay, we're just gonna let that heat up for a moment. All right, I'm starting to smell that nicely. So we're gonna do a bit of oil. Kosher salt, about a quarter of a tablespoon, and the onions and garlic. Okay, the onions have started to soften. We've started to get a little color on the saute here and in go the okra. Um, this is going to be just about two minutes or so just to get it started. It's been about two to three minutes. So now I'm going to add my tomatoes. I'm going to bring the heat up to high. So now we add a quarter cup of water, but uh, I have this leftover uh, tomato juice from canning, well, from preparing the tomatoes for canning. So I'm just going to use that instead. Honestly, we've got a lot of okra here. I'm going to add a little bit more tomato juice. So that's about an eighth of a cup. All right, 
That's another eight. That's better. Okay, we add a little bit more salt here. Wow, too much. Another quarter of a tablespoon of salt. I reduced the heat to medium high and I've covered the lid and it should bubble away for about 20 minutes. Uh, and while it's doing that, I think I'm gonna add some sage. And oregano. Not a small one. That's pretty good. So this sage and oregano is also from the garden. Let's see, the tomatoes are from the garden. The onions are from the garden. The okra is from the garden. Um, the paprika and mustard are not. Those are store bought. The uh, the lemon is from the store. But that's about it. The produce uh, is all garden grown. Okay, there's the oregano. My fingers are gonna smell so delicious after this. Um, you can put chilies in this, you can do uh, maybe I'll do a poblano. Hmm. Probably should have already done that if I was going to do it right. Um, you could do a little uh, cayenne pepper or jalapenos if you want a little bit more spice to it. Kind of hoping my kids will try it, so I'm leaving that out. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Could have gone with fresh basil, but honestly, I didn't feel like chopping that up. <laughs> okay, that's probably good enough. Let's add it. Okay, I'm gonna cover that again. I'm actually gonna lower the heat a bit. So still a little higher than medium. I'm gonna juice the other half of this lemon while I wait. All right, let's check on it and see how it's doing. That looks glorious. I did turn the heat down a little bit more so it's more at like medium low. Just felt like it was cooking a little too fast. It's good and soft. It's pretty good. I think I'm gonna give it like five more minutes. All right, there we have it. That was another five minutes. It's nice and soft. Let's see, move this, oh yeah, nice and soft. And like blazing hot right now. Um, so I could have chopped up the tomatoes a little finer. <laughs> I got some tomato skins in there, but it'll be fine. Could have done that better, but man, Ooh, this is going to taste good. Okay, so the last thing to do is add the lemon juice. So this is the other half of the lemon. All right. 
Shall we try some? We get a fork. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's delicious. I did mean to get some video of this plated up, but uh, dinner is chaos. So <laughs> just enjoy these pictures of the uh, finished product and the half empty pan.